Hi, this is Dudug Diton and welcome to my channel. Before this year ends, I would like to say thank you to all my viewers and all my subscribers. Today, I reached 14,000 subscribers and I thought, kala ko, hindi na ako maka 14k before matapos yung 2023. I really must admit that uh, 2023 is, is really a productive year for me. I was not able to make a content literally, but my channel keeps on growing and I would really thank you for that. For the entire year, I may say I was able to travel and meet different people. And they say traveling is food for the soul. And some may say it's nice when you travel alone. And yes, I conquered it. But however, it's not for me. Iba pa rin talaga when you're traveling with your families and especially with your loved ones. In terms of relationship, well, there's no perfect relationship. But we were able to settle and adjust and put ways how to make the relationship, you know, grow. Um, settle all the issues and adjust on our differences. Mga kidito natics, we must remember that communication is really important. Hindi siya nakukuha ng pakiramdaman lang. That no matter how busy you are, always put time to discuss your daily, your weekly, and your monthly achievements. Do not let that slip away. Choose the right people. I know it's hard. Positive people always talk about positivity. They always talk about self-improvement, encouragement, goals, and success. Always think about the law of attraction. Positivity attracts positivity and negativity attracts negativity. So, nasa sa'yo kung saan ka magpapadala. I know Marites are everywhere and they keep on growing. Be careful. One, you may think it's beneficial, but once they turn their back on you, then expect the worst. Listen, but don't comment. Do not engage because they will use it against you. I realized the value of work-life balance. Finding the harmony between your professional life and personal life is not as easy as it sounds. That is why it is important to make sure that we are also taking care of the areas of our life that keeps us happy and healthy. As I end this year, being productive is always a blessing. I was able to travel, meet different people, and most especially, I was able to learn more about myself. Always be grateful in even if it's a small blessing. In this imperfect world, always learn how to keep what is beneficial for you. You must fill your own cup, whatever that is overflowing, and that's where you share all your blessings. It is not being selfish, but more on being self-full. You need to keep yourself full at all times, every day, even a single minute, because people is getting energy from you. If your cup is not full, then that's going to be a furious battle with yourself. To the people I met and worked with, to the family and friends I shared with, for my shortcomings and misunderstandings, for happiness and sadness, to the people who believe in me, and most especially to my 14,000 plus subscribers, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Daghang salamat. If I may say, there are a lot of lessons that I learned, passion, my work. I'm very much grateful to all your support, the experience I had, all the realization. 2023 is such a very challenging and blessing for me. Kaya, I will take all the lessons and experiences and bring it to 2024. Kaya, 2024, bring it on. Again, this is Dudung Ditun and ending this year, as I always say, stay safe and always stay awesome. Bye! Happy New Year!